Right. So, if you have a flat tire, first thing you need to do, first very thing, get off the road. All right, don't start changing the flat tire and you feel on the road. It's so you gotta be... flip it down to the smallest rings no, on both. The first thing you get out of the road. Okay. okay? It's the first thing. Also, one thing that you must have, it's this, the tube, of course, spatulas, the CO2 and the CO2 to that I forgot the name of this, but anyways. I really brought my spatula from home thinking I might need that too. <laughs> it's recorded, it's gonna go all over YouTube videos. That's okay. <laughs> all right. well, I'm like, so, maybe it makes it easier. So we're gonna do the back tire, which is harder. So if you do the back tire, you of course you can do the front tire, right? So oh, this yeah. is your kit. You need to have a two spatula, CO2, okay? Never ride without this. And my suggestion is always have, if you're going a long ride, have two to three tubes at least, okay? If you're doing a shorter ride, one tube is fine. And CO2s, you should have at least two, because sometimes one can go bad, okay? I <laughs> can four. All right, so you had the flat tire, uh, the back flat tire. So the first thing you need to do is change your gears. So you're gonna put on the front one, on the very short one, the back one all the way to the head like that okay so you're gonna be in the small and the small here okay once you do that you're gonna take the back wheel out some of the bikes have the back wheel uh, coming out like this some of them have coming out to the bottom like yours come out to the bottom like Jessica comes out to the to the back your new one is gonna come out of the back, and but your now the new one comes out to the down. My recommendation: it's a lot easier if you take the whole thing out. A lot of people don't like it. I just think it's a lot easier if you take everything out. Make sure you put it back on, so you don't lose anything. Okay. Then go back out. Take a little bit of your chain like this. Hopefully your chain is clean, so it's not gonna be a big deal. Uh, I recommend find a grass spot or something because you're not on the road, put the bike like this. Just be careful if you have aero drinks, not turn and lose all your water, okay? Especially here in Florida, you don't wanna do that. Uh, so you grab your spatula. Some of the tires are very, very tight. You're gonna need two and sometimes three spatulas. So if you need three, you can grab one like this and hold it on the rim. And I do. And with the other one, you grab and just go taking the tire all around. Remember that you don't need to take the whole tire off, just one side, okay? Uh, some of the tires are very light, uh, pressure here. With just one spatula, you can go all around, okay? But my recommendation have at least two with you. Uh, normally they are sold in packs of three, but if you have two, you'll be fine. Okay. Uh, once you do this, you take the tube out, the old tube. You're gonna get the new tube. I'm not gonna use this one, but you get the new tube. Uh, you open this part. You can throw it out. But don't throw it out out on the road put it in your pocket okay cycling jerseys have that pocket over there for a reason so don't be nice with the environment and put it in there okay uh, so once you once you take the old tube out you're gonna go through your hands like this just to see if there's anything stuck in it because if it's like a piece of glass or a piece of iron or something when you put the new one and you inflate it's gonna have a hole again so just make sure you go over uh, you get the new tube it's gonna be really flat some people like to inflate a little bit before you put it in just so it's not totally flat okay uh, you don't need to but it's recommended so when you put the CO2, you don't have any chance of pinching uh, anything inside, okay? You put it 
put it back in. So put it back in. You go all around putting the tube in. Okay. Just make sure that when you put it in, you're not pinching the tube. You're just like I said, some tires are a lot more tighter than this. So it's not gonna be that easy. And some of them, you're gonna need to use the spatula, okay? When you take it off of the spatula, you take it off like this, okay? When you put it back on, you do the opposite. With this side, you're gonna put it in, and, okay? This way, you're gonna, you're gonna make sure that it doesn't pinch. If you do it the other way, you, will, you can pinch, okay? I usually make sure that I move this a little bit in and out so make sure that it's not pinching I go around like this make sure I put everything in place in the tire okay it looks good uh, if you if your back brake or your whatever brake you're using uh, you're changing it's very tight sometimes it's better to put the wheel back on and then put the CO2 in to inflate because sometimes if you inflate uh, the tires is too tight so to put it in it's gonna be really hard uh, so you can put it in the, the, the wheel first tie it and then inflate or if you have enough space on your brake you can inflate it and then put it back in I believe this brake is actually pretty, pretty okay. so you get your CO2 and your CO2 adapter you plug it in I don't know how well this works there is an open and close here. And yours it was open, so. Yeah. so you put it in all the way in. You open your, make sure your tube is open. Plug it in. Then you just open. Let it inflate everything. Uh, if you have the adapter that it opens and close, you can close a little bit. Make sure that nothing's pinching, uh, looking all around to see if it's good. Uh, and if it's good, you open and keep it inflating, right? And just be careful, it gets really cold. How do you know when enough's enough? Just feel uh, you kind of feel it is hard, but usually one CO2, it's, uh, it's enough to put about 80 to 90, to 90 sometimes 100 PSI. Where that we should be riding it with. I usually ride with uh, my first pump. It's like 115 to 120. It depends on the tire. Okay. Uh, that's another thing. To avoid flat tires, you should always pump your tires in every ride you go. Every time you're gonna go riding, you think about riding, pump your tires. Okay. What that's gonna reduce to pump your tires. To well, it depends on each tire. But normally, like 100 to 120 psi would be good. See, my tire says 85 to 115. What? My tire says 85 to 115. Yeah, so then you can keep it. it on the high side. I keep it on yeah. 100, actually. Yeah. That's good. So you can go, and then you put the chain back on, on the first gear, the same gear that you left on, and put it back in. Oh, not easy. It looks so easy. <laughs> then you my blue bike was horrible. You good? Make sure you put tight enough and make sure that your tires is in the middle, your, your brakes are in the middle. And right. closed. Ah, <laughs> see, and then you're good to go. Just remember, the CO2 is to take you back home or to finish the ride. The next day, you use your U2, your tires is going to be flatter always so don't think that you have a flat tire on top of it so let's say you put it about 90 psi with the co2 the next day when you go check it's probably going to be around 50 again okay it's not that you have a flat if it goes back to zero then you have a flat again but uh most likely it's going to be back to 50 right? then 
that's pretty much it. Is that that simple? Okay. So let's practice. All right. All right. Did you close your brakes? <laughs> yeah, I never open my brakes. You don't have to open your brakes. No.